Hey, welcome back to Sam's Painting Corner, and today I'm gonna paint this space orc for you. And I chose to prime him with the Plastic Soldiers Company US Olive Drop. Now the first thing I'm going to do is apply leather brown all over the leather areas. Now the main goal about this is to do a tabletop quality miniature. Um, I don't have to do a lot of effort on this one, or you don't have to do a lot of effort because it's tabletop quality. It's just for fun. Paint it and go, you know? So apply this all over the leathered areas, as I said. And now we're gonna move on to black. Make sure you're thinning down your paints while you're doing this, by the way. So I'm gonna apply black all over the metallic bits and the suspenders of York. I took my time to make sure that I applied the paint where I needed to apply it. And very carefully, as I didn't want to mess up around, but if you do, just go back with the previous color and attach it. Now the next thing, I chose Intermediate Green from Vallejo Model Color as well. And I apply this all over the skin area. The next color I chose is Warlord Purple from Game Color. This one is also a Vallejo um, brand, if for those of you who don't know what Game Color is, it's part of the Vallejo brand. It's like a different branch with the same tree. Now I chose Kaki and I applied this all over the pants. And I did a little bit of this. I applied it in several areas, not too much, like little stripes here and there and streaks, just to kind of bring it up a little bit more. Also, I took my time and decided to paint the teeth with the same color and the nails of the orc. Okay, he's looking good so far. Now the metallics. And I chose from the Army Painter Company, Gun Metal. This is my main go gun metal color. So in this one, I applied it all over the metallic parts, the piercings, as you can see he has one there on the front bottom lip. And also he has one on the left ear. Now then, he's looking pretty good to be watched anytime soon. Okay, before that I used Scarlet Blood and I painted the eyes and the tip of the tongue. Now then, the favorite part of everybody, washing time. And I chose Agrax Earthshade because why not? Agrax Earthshade is very good. And I'm gonna let this guy sit down and dry for an hour. Now that I came back to him, I chose Armageddon Dust as the basing material. You could use PVA glue and rocks if you like, but I chose this one. Now, in the next part, I'm going to show you how to highlight him a little bit more. So that's his little brother over there. And I'm going to highlight it the same way he is. Okay, so I went back with the intermediate green. And I highlighted all the raised areas, leaving some of the shadows behind. Okay, next color is actually Goblin Green. And Goblin Green, uh, it's one of my favorite green colors as well. I'm gonna apply this all over the raised areas of the orc and then camouflage green on the very, very raised areas. Like the wrinkles and expression of the face, you wanna focus with this color on that and on the top, top parts of the biceps on the muscles. There we go, he's looking pretty strong and green. Okay. Now then, let's move on. I'm going to highlight the leather a little bit on the most open areas and with bone white, I'm going to highlight the very edges, doing some little lines here and there, and on the suspenders as well, to kind of make it look more worn. Okay, I mixed a little bit of bone white and some... Warlord purple, was it? Oh yeah, Warlord purple. And I decided to mix it in tip of the tongue highlights. There we go. It's looking pretty shabby, eh? Okay, so now the next thing I chose is a dry flat brush. And I'm going to paint this all over the metallic parts. Kind of bring it up a little bit. Not too much. You don't want to add way too much to like overpower the darkened down metal. The whole point about painting orcs is to make them look like they're dirty. They came out of a battlefield or like a junkyard and they picked up all this nice stuff. That they colored their own to make it really nice. Now I painted his piercings there with a small detail brush and the raised areas of the gun. Now then. So you can see this guy over here, his base is a little bit kind of orangey. That's the idea I wanted to give him because my orcs are going to be in the battlefields of Armageddon, fighting my Armageddon Imperial Guard. So for this, I chose Wagon Orange, and from the Army Painter, I decided to grab this Wasteland Tufts. What a better fitting than this Wasteland stuff for that Wasteland theme. Okay, so let's do that. Now, 
The thing that I'm going to do now is shake this paint really good. Alright, so I'm gonna apply this on the base. And after you're doing this, you know, you're pretty much uh, done with the details. Now, I do recommend that when you're doing this stuff, and you're painting 30 or 35 orcs, or 40 or 50, because you're gonna collect a lot of orcs if you're collecting orcs, paint all of the bases, and then let them dry. Go do something else, eat a snack, get some tea, grab a beer or something, and all that. Now, I'm going to apply this wash in several areas on the metallic parts to make it look kind of like a rusty effect. Just be very free and uh, liberal about this. Don't hold back. Imagination and dedication is key. That's the way to go. Okay, so time for the tufts. <laughs> I'm going to apply this. And with Elmer's glue, you can use any type of PBA glue. Doesn't matter, doesn't have to be Elmer's glue or any of that stuff. Just whatever you have nearby you can use. The uh, tufts actually have a little, uh, you know, like a, little, like a little glue underneath them. And you don't really have to use glue, but I want to reinforce them to the base, so I decided to use glue. I added a little bit of glue, like a small blob, here and there. And I picked up a pair of tweezers and I tried to remove it from the paper, and it was really giving me a hard time. After you're done with this, and you're probably done like 30 or 25 orcs with this stuff, you can call it done. And on top of that, if you don't really like doing the highlights and all that stuff, the first way I painted this guy, which it was doing the base coats and the wash, you can just do that, base him, and he's good to go. Tabletop quality. But this is the more highlighted version. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. He is now with his brother, and they're gonna tear and destroy and shoot everything. So if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe or comments on the section down below. See you in the next time. Bye-bye.